Oh my god, I don't remember when this world war started, even though my brain has a memory capacity of a million gigabyte. How does this brain store memories and why don't I remember? Well, our brain has a large number of specialized cells called neurons. These neurons act as a biological wire that transmits signals. Whenever a new memory is formed, neurons in our brain send signals in a particular pattern. When we recall, they fire in the same pattern in our brain. If we consider our memory as a box of facts and events, then the important ones and those filled with emotions would be at the top and others would go below that eventually they become unaccessible that we forget them. I wish I could live a life without forgetting anything. Then your life would be terrible that you will suffer from post traumatic stress disorder. Why? If you could have all your memories at the top, then unpleasant thoughts continue to linger in your mind that may finally result in unethical actions. Even your brain forgets purposefully when you sleep. Forgetting helps us to move towards the future, leaving the angers and pains of the past. Wait, then why don't I forget to cycle despite not touching it for months? And I suppose this is due to muscle memory. Actually, muscles do not have memories by itself. Rather, it is a form of implicit memory, that is, the unconscious and procedural memory being acquired by practicing. Other examples include tying your shoelace and the path from your home to school. We can't forget implicit memory easily. Whereas, the other type of memory, called explicit memory, is encoded consciously and it is declarative. Remembering facts and events come under this memory. Usually, beginners in sports do certain movements repeatedly. Even players do these workouts, which make them do better serves and sorts. Does this have anything to do with the brain? How does this make me perform better? Certainly, this is caused by myelination in neurons. This is a neuron. The signals are transferred using ions like sodium and potassium, just like electrons in electrical wires. The charge inside the axon is negative while in resting state, as potassium negatively charged ions and proteins are more inside. Exchange of ions takes place when it gets excited. Thus, an electrical impulse is generated by creating a potential difference and this signal is transferred across numerous neurons to reach the destination. The myelin sheath forms insulation around the axon just like insulation around the wire. Practicing causes the same nerve impulses to fire over and over and thereby increase the myelin thickness. This process of proliferation is called myelination. How does myelination make movements efficient? Ions act similar to magnets in terms of attraction. When the size of the obstacle between the magnets increases, the force of attraction decreases. Similarly, when the myelin thickness increases, the force of attraction of ions decreases. Hence, the ions could move faster. Moreover, like insulation around a hot lunch box, it prevents energy from getting lost, which makes us perform with much ease and efficiency. So friends, never forget to practice next time before you learn a new skill.